Hey, what is up cynics? Welcome back. Today we're gonna to be doing something a little bit different than what I typically do on the channel. But as of recently, I've been really addicted to watching people open up Pokemon cards on YouTube. As a lot of people also have been, they are extremely popular to watch right now. And as a 90s baby, of course I was obsessed with Pokemon as a child. But it has been quite a few years since I've been into Pokemon. But as I've been addicted to these videos as of recently, I did what any grown man would go do, and I went and bought some Pokemon cards, and I'm gonna unbox them today. Now, Pokemon cards have been extremely hard to find as of recent, and I did have to go to three or four stores just to find what I found today, and I feel like I got pretty lucky, honestly. So today we're gonna be starting with a couple of these Pokemon tins that recently came out. Now I've watched a couple videos on these and I heard that they're overall kind of mediocre. There's a lot of sun and moon packs in here and a lot of sword and shield packs. But we're gonna be starting with these today. And then I also was lucky enough to snag 20 packs of the sword and shield darkness ablaze packs. So we will be opening those as well today, all 20 of them. And for the grand finale, I was actually lucky enough to snag a Shining Fates premium collector's box. This is the Dragapult one. So that is what I'm gonna be finish with, finishing with today. I know Shining Fates is one of the more popular packs to unbox right now. So I got seven of those and we're gonna finish it off with that. So without wasting too much time, let's jump into this. All right, we're gonna start with the standard Pokeball tin here. Bear with me while I open it up. And then each of these was $14.99 and they did only have two left in the entire store I was at. So I obviously had to snag them both up. Man, the struggle is real right now. All right. Get these bad boys opened up here. All right, so it looks like I got a couple sun and moon and a sword and shield. So yeah, basically what I was seeing on the videos, which apparently the sun and moon and sword and shield uh, packs aren't that popular, but whatever, that's why we're starting with it. And then it does come with this cool little Mew token here, but yeah, kind of cool collector's item. All right, let's start with the sun and moon packs. Now, like I said, I am not experienced in this whatsoever. So I think that I have to do four cards. I know there's a secret card trick. I might have just hosed that up. I'm not 100% sure, I guess we'll find out. We've got energy, a jelly donut, a switch trainer, a sparrow. A pharaoh, a snubble, a sand dial, and it looks like a reverse hollow crocodile. And like I said, I'm gonna learn more about this as I go. I'm just jumping into to Pokemon again, as I mentioned earlier, so I actually don't know a lot of these Pokemon, honestly, probably past like fourth gen. I don't know a whole lot. So yeah, I'm not sure if that's good at all, but either way. Set that to the side for now. Moving on to the next sun and moon. All right. Energy, Pelipper, Repel. This set definitely looks a lot more cartoony than I remember the cards looking. A Stuffle. What the heck is that? Toga Damara? A little adorable thing. And a Great Ball Trainer. Another Reverse Hollow, actually. Alright, let's set that one to the side. Now, I know that this set has uh, some of the Eevee Evolutions that are pretty decent, but who knows? I could pull the best card in the world and I probably wouldn't really know what it is. Energy switch. 
Yeah, I'm honestly seeing a lot of guys I don't really know. Rhyhorn, there we go, I know him. Pharisee, hey, a Krabby, an OG. Another reverse holo, and then a Rapidash. See, I've never seen that one either. Pretty cool. These cards just look very pleasing. All right, overall, I don't think that that was any sort of crazy pulls or anything like that, but moving on to the next ball. Let's see what we got this time. Another Mew token. And once again, two Sun and Moons and a Sword and Shield. So if you go and buy these, you're most likely gonna get two Sun and Moon and a Sword and Shield, which a lot of the Pokemon channels that I watch are apparently pretty disappointed that they decided to go that route, but what do you do? I feel like I'm just opening these horribly. I'm gonna try three this time. I feel like I wasn't doing it right. Steeny, Energy, Corosla, Corosla, <laughs> Corsola, Grimer, and an Energy. Oh, oh, oh! I don't know if this is good, but it sure looks cool. It's like a Lapras GX edition. All right. So anyone that looks like this, I'm pretty much just gonna put in a sleeve. I have no idea what these are worth, like I said. But just to be safe, I did pick some up. And I'm gonna try to make these unpacks a little bit more entertaining in the future, but this is my first time, so make sure to smash like if you wanna see more like this in the future, because I will go buy more packs to open up for you guys. So I think I was right, the four trick was working. Energy, timer ball, Brioni, Hollywhirl, Diglett with the cute little hair there. A Crab Brawler, Eevee, one of my favorites from back in the day. Oh, oh, I just saw something. Sandy Guess, oh, another Pokeball Trainer. And a Golduck non-holographic. So I'm guessing since this is the second reverse holo po Pokeball Trainer, it is not a great card. All right, last sword and shield, guys. Get this trash out of the way for you. Energy, Aurora energy. Another Diglett. Seems like they have a decent amount of different art for the different Pokemon, which is pretty cool. A Scorbunny, a Reverse Hollow Joltik, and a non-holographic Whimsicott. Whimsicott. I'm so bad at pronouncing these, I'm so sorry. You're probably all cringing, all my Pokemon fans out there. I will learn though, I will learn. All right, so really the only thing I pulled from the from the Pokeball tins was the Lapras here. So, I don't know. For 30 bucks, I don't think it was probably worth it, but um, I'm gonna try to pop up prices of certain cards as I pull them. Now it is time to open up the 20 Darkness of Blaze packs. Now I'm probably gonna cruise through these pretty quickly just because I have 20 of them. So I don't wanna make this video super, super long for you guys, but we're just gonna crack into it here. Hopefully the card trick is the same for this. Parasec, Energy, Larvitar. Yeah, there's a lot of Pokemon I just do not know. I am behind. Another Reverse Holo, some Gears, Clang, and a Del Caddy, non holographic. Moving on. I'm just gonna start chucking these on the floor. All this garbage, right on the floor. I'll pick it up later. I don't have room up here for it. Sorry if I'm not holding the cards good for the camera view here. Look at, that is, a, that is just a creepy Pokemon. 
All right. Ducklet. Jigglypuff. And another reverse holo. Vanillish. And a holographic copper jaw. Oh man, I don't know if that's the... Oh man, look at how bad the alignment is on this card. It's absolutely horrid. Look at that. Holy smokes. That's gotta be one of the worst alignments I have ever seen on a Pokemon card. Crazy. Get your quality control good here. Moving on. Energy, Doug Trio. Electric. Is it me or is, is this whole pack horribly aligned? They're all pretty bad. Hey, Torchic. And Talon Flame. Nothing in that one, guys. I don't think that's what we're looking for. Oops, sorry, I kind of showed one there. Yeah, that whole pack was like pretty horribly aligned. Oh, I think I saw, I think I saw a pretty, pretty solid holographic chilling in the back, just the corner of it. Toxel. Oh yeah, I definitely see it back there, but what is it? Wimpod, what is it? Holographic Fluffy, what is it? Oh, a Pokemon Breeder Nurturing Full Art. Look at that. Ah, centering's a little bit off there, it looks like. Look at that, though. That's cool. Let's definitely get that in a sleeve. ASAP. Yeah, the alignments of these are, like, crazy bad. Maybe I'm just, like, judging it too badly, but I don't know. Yeah, I was kind of looking up these, uh, I was kind of looking up the Darkness Blaze set, and I, I think that was one of the more popular ones, so that's pretty cool. Alright. Rose Tower. Yeah, I don't know if these little ones are really... Like, are any of the, the front ones gonna be worth anything, really, is what I question so reverse hollow galisopod another pokemon never heard of before oh wait what is this sent scorch v max also lined a little bit off once again it's like a v max full hollow or what would you call this? A v, just a VMAX full art? Gigamax. Alright, let's get that in a sleeve too. Any cool shiny looking one like this, it's going in a sleeve. Moving on. Now, I'm pretty sure the best card you can actually pull out of these packs is a Charizard. So fingers crossed there, but I doubt it. I'm just getting into Pokemon. The chances of me pulling a Charizard are pretty slim to none, I'd say. Rowlet. Daramaka. Grimer, I know him. Larvitar, I know him. A Reverse Hollow Paris. And a Wigglytuff. I'd say that was, a, that was a bust on that pack, guys. Alright, we got Energy, Carnivine, Yellhorn, a Furret, Skarmory, Paris, what a lame Pokemon, Mareep, Ducklet, okay, we got a Reverse Hollow Bunnelby, and a Lipard, non-holographic, alright, alright, alright. 
Come on. We need something big here, guys. We need something big. Energy. Doug Trio. An old PC. Aaron. Torchic. Oh, that's an interesting Mr. Oh, Galarian Mr. Mine. Okay. So, that's another one of the things. I've been saw out of Pokemon. I don't even know what a Galarian version of a Pokemon is whatsoever. Electric. Reverse Hollow Centret. And a non holographic final card. Gothitella, a goth chick. You know, it does seem like they kind of were running out of ideas for some of these Pokemon, not gonna lie. Energy, struggle gloves. Lunatone. This Bunnelbee, I know I've gotten it a few times now, but that is one trippy picture of a Pokemon, I gotta say. Electric. Galarian Mr. Mime again. Okay, Reverse Hollow Blaziken, that's pretty cool. He was my dude back in the day. And a non hollow Galarian Darmanitan. Kind of an interesting looking guy there. You know, I don't know if I don't know if Blaziken's a popular card or not. It's going in a sleeve just in case. Just in case, guys. I promise as these videos go on, I will know more. I will know more just for you guys. Energy, Rare Fossil, Simisage, Doug Trio. Come on, we need something big. A Hippopotamus, Purloin, a Reverse Hollow Simipore. Nothing, nothing in that one, guys. We still have a decent sized stack left. Let's keep it moving so this video isn't 45 minutes long. Sinistee, Cuffins. Some of these guys are just goofy looking. Nothing on there. Uh, Reverse Hollow Go Golurk. Another Pokemon, I have no idea. No idea. Keep cruising through these guys. I guess the main point of this video, oh look at that, uh, reverse hollow Hippowodin. Hippodon, Hippodon. Oh, and a V, let's see, what is this? It's kind of a hard picture to read here. The Centiscorch V card. Holographic. Alignment is decent on that one. Okay. I think this might have been one of the guys we pulled earlier, but the uh, the V series of the, the card instead. Let's see, actually. Yep, same one, but one's V Max, one's the V. So I'm still learning kind of what the difference is between those two forms, but either way, kind of cool that we both got both kinds today. Moving on. Drop them. Torchic. Galarian Mr. Mime again. Fletching. A Dedenny. And a Kling Clang. I think we struck out on that one, guys. I think we struck out on that one.
Jupiter. Spinnerick. Look at how bad that alignment is. Is it just me? Is that on purpose? It can't be, right? That is just, look at that alignment, it's just bad. It, ha it has to be intentional, right? It just seems weird to me. Hmm. I don't know. I think the alignment's just terrible on that card. I gotta say, so far the quality control for the Darkness of Blaze has not seemed very good to me. Do you imagine pulling like a Charizard and it was that unaligned or something? Oh, I saw something peek there. I saw something. Larvitar. Vanilla. It. And a V. Rhyperior. Okay. That one's got some pretty decent alignment. That's good. Let's throw it in a sleeve just in case. Still have no idea if it's worth anything. If it looks that cool, it's got to be worth something, right? Might not be money, but it's gotta be worth something. And I'm sorry if I'm kinda all over the place with these. I'm like getting too close to the camera and stuff. Still learning, still learning. A non-hollow for the final card there. All right, guys, we've got four packs remaining. Moment of truth. Sorry, bump the camera there. Cape of Toughness. A Flaffy. Clink. Fletching. A Reverse Hollow Parasect. And a Dracozolt. I feel like I'm just pronouncing these all horribly wrong. I know what you guys are thinking. You're gonna be like, you ain't no true Pokemon fan. Well, you're probably right, I, but I used to be. I like collecting cards though. And I would love to learn more about these going forward. It's because I like to know a lot about things that I collect, so. Energy. Oh, 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 I'm bad at this. Rooka D and a Flygon non-holographic. All right, two packs left. Oh, I'm sorry, kind of showed you that there. Trap pinch. Nothing in that one. This is the final pack, guys. Am I getting anything good out of Darkness Ablaze? Hollow Corviknight, a non hollow Volcarona. Alright, I mean, overall, we got some stuff out of there. We got the, got the few cards here. I mean, I don't know. Let me know if you think that that was a bad pull overall for all these for purchasing 20 packs of Darkness Ablaze. And I know Darkness of Blaze isn't the most popular, but you know, that's mainly what they had at the store, and that's what I was able to kind of grab and start with, so I'll kind of take it there, you know? All right, so what I've really been waiting for is the Shining Fates box. We're gonna get this opened up right now, and I know Shining Fates is probably the most popular right now as far as packs go. So I'm kind of excited to see what we get here. 
And it is only seven packs, so we're gonna be able to cruise through this pretty quickly. I don't know why, it's just satisfying when they're all on display like this. Pretty cool stuff. Now, I personally am more of like a Magic the Gathering type guy, but it's not bad to switch it up every now and again. So in this, you get the collector's token here. Kind of cool. So this one does come with two cards right away off the bat. You get a Dragapult V card and a Dragapult V Max. So pretty cool. They look just really fancy. I mean, and then you do get the oversized Dragapult as well. So that's pretty cool. I actually did buy a book to hold all the oversized cards because who knows, those will probably be worth something in the future as well. And for the moment of truth, we have the seven packs. All right, let's just jump right into it guys. Shining Fates. Starting off with a Luxio, Eldegas, Dartrix, a Nicket, Morpeko, Eevee, and a Reverse Hollow, Spinarak, and a Zarud. Nothing crazy so far, nothing crazy so far. But we'll see. Lotzel, Gym Trainer, a Shinx, oh look at that, we got a Holographic Dragapult and a Frostmoth Holographic as well, cool. Once again, I have no idea the value of these cards, so if any of them are worth any like, significant amount of money, I will pop it up on the screen. Just if you're curious as well. A rusted sword. A ball guy. What the heck is that thing? A bizarre Pokemon card. A Nicket again. Got a Copper Shaw and a V. Cramorant. Now, based on the looks of this Pokemon, I probably would assume this card is not worth a whole lot, but you know what? We'll stick it in the sleeve anyways. You never know. Pack number three. Tropius and a Galarian Weezing Holographic. Oh, I'm sorry, that was the fourth pack. We're moving on to the fifth one right now. Come on, struggle's real. Nicket, a Trapinch, a Zarud Reverse Hollow, and a Boss's Orders non holographic. Come on, we gotta pull something big in these last two. Another ball guy. A bizarre Pokemon card. Gotta say it again. A Horsey, a Snom, a Reverse Holothwacky, and a Volcanion. Non-holographic. 
Come on, this is our last opportunity, last pack to get something good. Or the Shining Fates was officially a waste of money. Come on, best for last, right? A Team Yell Towel. Man, some of these are lame. Rusted Shield, Morpeka, Rowlet. A Horsey, and a Reverse Hollow Celebi, and a Holographic Thievil. So overall, I do think that out of seven packs, it seems like the, the Shining Fates was kind of a bust. I mean, I didn't expect to pull anything crazy from a Shining Fates pack, but either way, we got a handful of some pretty cool cards here. Kind of go through them again here. And once again, I will pop up any sort of pricing that might be relevant to any of these. Um, I do have to do a little more research. Other than that, sorry if this video seemed a little thrown together. I've never done any sort of video like this before. I do plan on in the future, if you do want to see more, kind of getting a better setup for it, get some better lighting in here as well. But overall, I had a fun time opening these packs with you. And for anyone that actually stuck around to the end to see everything that I got, I greatly appreciate it. And I do want you guys to drop your Pokemon card knowledge down in the description down below. What do I need to know? Let me know. What pack should I be going for? And what are the top Pokemon cards right now to be collecting? I am genuinely curious and I will be doing some self-informing as well on the whole situation. But this is the start of my collection and I think overall it was a pretty fun time. Anyways, yeah, you guys know what to do. Drop it down in the comment section, give the video a big old thumbs up. And remember, if you wanna see future content on tech, games, movies, to literally anything nerdy in between, make sure to subscribe to Digital Cynics. Peace.